Hi, this is Jim Craig with Planet of Mystery, and I'm going to show you how to use a free tool to enhance your astro photos a bit. Um, the tool is called GIMP. That's the new image manipulation program. I am going to put a link below. But it will allow you to take your astro photos like this and go to that, bringing out a lot more detail and getting rid of the background. This is background extraction. Now, this is based on some work I've seen by Nico Carver. You can go to his YouTube channel, Nebula Photos, and he does some absolutely amazing things in Nebula Photos. But I think I've taken it just a little step further than he has. Also, it's based on something in a piece of software called ASTAP, which is usually used for plate solving, but it's also got a thing in it called pixel math, and I've gotten this to work somewhat in that. But I found that it works better in GIMP. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the raw image. Now this image is by Paul Tennant, who I know from uh, Facebook, and I ask his permission to use this image. And we're gonna zoom in here and you can see that he's got uh, M81 and M82 Bode's Galaxy, or maybe pronounced Bode's Galaxy, and the Cigar Gal Galaxy. And then over here is a third galaxy. So what we're going to start with is we're going to go up to Colors and Levels. By the way, this is all going to be done real time. No editing. So if I pause or lose my train of thought, don't worry, I'll get back on track. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to bring out as much information from the galaxies as we can while darkening the background. So let's start by bringing that level up. And don't try to do this all at once. We're going to do this in several steps. And bring the darkness up. And already you can start to see a little bit more. And just click on there again. By the way, I'm using GIMP 2.1.0. It is cross-compatible on Mac, Windows, and Linux, so by all means, download that software. It's very useful. But again, we're going to just tweak that a little bit more there and there. Now, part of this is artistic. Part of this is scientific. You just go until you think it looks about right. I like a lot of detail to come out in the galaxies. And I usually do it about four times. So there we've got a pretty good look at the galaxies. You can see them pretty well, but you've got that blue background, and that blue background is annoying. So we're going to get rid of that. So the first thing you do to do that is you duplicate that layer. We're not going to do anything else with this main layer. Now using the lasso tool, we're going to circle around the galaxies. Unfortunately, the lasso tool, you have to do some tricks in order to use it more than once. Hold down, if, to get the next galaxy, you're gonna hit Shift, and circle that. And then the third one, we're gonna Shift and circle that. Now, before we go too far, we need to pick the main color of our background, because we're gonna use that, we're going to actually uh, paint over these galaxies. So using the eyedropper tool, we're going to pick that blue color. And on our selection, we want to feather out the edges a bit. So go to feather. And I found out that 25, I've done this before, 25 worked pretty well for a picture this big. Then using the bucket tool, Make sure to have foreground color filled and fill the whole selection and those galaxies are gone. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Then hit Control shift a and now all of those are completely gone. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of the stars while keeping the background color. And the way to do that is to go up to filters, go to blur and pick a Gaussian blur. Now you can see the stars are slightly blurry there. We're going to take that up as much as we can until the stars pretty much disappear. I take it all the way to um, 
as close to 100 as I can. Hit OK. So now the next part, and this is simple, down here under Mode, from Normal, go to Subtract. Boom! There you go. This is with that sub layer subtracted, that's without, and you can see the difference. Even when you, even when you zoom out, you can see that background is extracted and the picture looks a lot nicer. So if you're pleased with the results, you right click on pasted layer cotton on that top layer, merge down. You can also hit control M and tell it to merge all the visible layers. Then you save and export the image and you're done. Just that simple. Uh, now me, what I would do with an image like this is I would use the crop selection tool get a pretty good size image where all of those are centered and crop the image hit enter so that's my whole image um, with the layer to image size then I'm going to scale this so it would make a nice wallpaper on my computer which is 1920 by 1280 so I'm going to hit scale image 1920 scale then image canvas size is 1920 by 1280 make sure it's set to pixels and that those aren't bound we're going to center that image resize and now that would make great wallpaper for a high resolution monitor so i hope you found this useful if you like what you saw here, click the subscribe button down below. I try to do at least one video a week for people. Also, if you want to help me bring these videos to you, you may consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash planet of mystery. That's planet underscore of underscore mystery. And for as little as a dollar a month, I can help bring you these videos. You have access to me. I've been a professional astronomer for over 30 years. Um, taught in a planetarium, um, have a degree in physics, happy to try to answer your questions. And if I don't have an answer, I can at least try to steer you in the right direction. I also have exclusive content just for my patrons. So please consider that. So until next time, this is Jim Craig with Planet of Mystery, <clears throat> hoping that you can see more clearly.